do not fabricate things that don't exist, things that aren't there. Other blockages we have, the king of air. back everyone this is Shay with solstice psychic readings here um this will be an angel reading for prosperity wealth money um again whenever you watch this that's when it's meant to be seen by you it's not intended for any specific zodiac or any specific time to be locked in but it's just merely guidance from these angels cards above and presently here on earth so let's see what these messages are okay so our first card here is the Two of Fire. Um, this says that you've come into your own new partnerships, contracts will continue to move forward. When something is on fire in, in Harrow, it's, it's definitely a sign of um, speed, expeditiousness, right? Something happening very rapidly, very, very on time. Of course, we have Eight of Air, um, the illusion of being tracked, trapped and being afraid to take action. Uh, please don't allow this to be you. These are some of the blockages. Um, but what we need to do is actually have the nine of fire and um, be inspired to believe in yourself. Have the courage to follow through on this idea that is supposed to bring great wealth to you. Again, something about partnerships being necessary. So this could mean having the appropriate level of child care. It can be so far as um, going into business with someone. Um, maybe someone having watch you watch having someone watch the business that you have while you work on other things. It can be just having a partner, someone stable, someone supportive when you come home. Something about this energy is very specific and immediate. Insofar as saying that you already know or have an idea of who this person is and ought to be. I accidentally left a card on the bottom, the sun, and this is Archangel Uriel, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. When you see these cards and things like this, there's there's no inhibition, there's no stopping you, there's no there's no falsehood. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into a time frame and look at what we need to avoid in the coming months and the coming years so that it is placeable and applicable to whatever your situation. We have two of air being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending that there is a problem when there isn't one. All right, so here our pyramid is gonna start div dividing into two and three, okay? Do not fabricate things that don't exist, things that aren't there. Other blockages we have, the king of air. Um, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance emotional and mental considerations. Don't psych yourself out, don't, you're being discouraged from having doubts on the self because the mind is the first weapon it's the most powerful tool that you have it is your god given right your goddess given right your source has given you this intuition to know that this is the appropriate set of steps that you need to be taking other things to defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely with the seven of fire you are going to be contested and i think that there will be some verbal abuse on part of a female family member or a female person that you thought you tr could trust. So we have two cards falling out. Um, we have our queen of air, independent, experienced, and witty. Um, objective decision and making and clearing things that no longer serve you. Seeing humor in the situation. Yeah, this person will mock you. Uh, just as I said, female, this queen of air, she gossips. So avoid this female person, family member, supposed friend. Um, this person could be male, but have a very strong gossip feminine energy right um this person has the power of speech and the power to hold an audience that is very concerning something to definitely avoid 100 percent be on your p's and q's absolutely please be on the lookout for this very very nefarious female person six of fire victory good news is on this way and public recognition has its own rewards it absolutely does i apologize for the glare from the sun but six of fire you know you don't need the validation. You don't. But when it comes, it comes appropriately. Um, I think that this fares very well for people who are entrepreneurs and people who own their own businesses. 
um, when I see these cards so far, there is definitely a way of you moving and manipulating people to get what you need, to get what you want, even if that means getting them out of the way. That is important. That's an important distinction because everybody's not your friend. Everyone's not there to help you. Everyone's not there to support you, loan you money, etc. But people will always watch and they will say something positive or negative. I would like to know what else we need to be avoiding, but I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and move over to the sun energy with the Archangel Uriel. Um, this has to do with the happy outcomes and leads to success and confidential confidence in your life. This is not a secret. This is not a secret adventure. This is something that you were going to do. You said you're going to do it. It's done. Um, and I believe some of you have already hit this financial goal, but something about you're trying to figure out if you made the right decision. Okay. So here we have a night of water energy and that involves falling in love, wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions and, um, social events, right? Like how do you finesse the emotional wellspring that's here, okay? And there's a way to socially be prowess, have prowess, uh, tact, something to do with your mannerism. I don't think you are arrogant in this situation, but people will label you as arrogant and you have to finesse that in public settings. You have to find a way to contest that and to argue that without being argumentative. And sometimes the people just need to be told. And don't get me wrong. I will be the first to tell you to speak your truth. You were already told that um, to speak for your, speak up for yourself. But don't engage at the first um, goading, at the first attempt to make you angry or to belittle you. Do not engage. Feel it out. Observe. And make your moves accordingly. Be in, be more intelligent. I'm not telling you to be the bigger person because I don't even do that. But I am saying to be tactful and to plan. Okay? And then we have a page of fire. Um, be outgoing, creative, and mischievous. Of course, this exciting new, new endeavor does require a lot of confidence, ingenuity, a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, a lot of creativity on your end. Whether that's arts, uh, that could be being creative and thinking of a new way to do things. Um, thinking outside the box, that's considered creativity, right? It can mean being on whatever slave ship that you're on for a short period of time and then finessing your way out of the current position that you're in so as to where you got a certification paid for. Maybe you get that promotion and then you stay on that promotion for a short while and you use that to apply to a different position, right? There's ways to scam the scammers and you are definitely using your ingenuity to do so. This is not a secret, as I stated before, and I think that there is some type of anticipation if you are not your own boss, that they know people do this, they that suspect people, are, but there's nothing they can do because they have such a high turnover, they can't retain people and they won't be able to retain you because you have this wheel of, no, I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to use it to my own advantage, to my own self. And you certainly are going to do that. That follows up with the five of water. This can have to do with things not turning out the way that you had exactly planned and you not seeing all of the positives in the situation. That does make a lot of sense because coming from this water energy about the gossip and public finesse, you know, you didn't expect to have to, you know, but everybody cannot go along with you on this journey. Everybody cannot go with you financially, fiscally to where you are going. Everyone is not allowed to just be a groupie and, and, and say that they're a part of it. You have to drop dead weight, I'm sorry, but it is for the best for the individual self as well as for the whole well-roundedness of you. It's very important to acknowledge that some people are not actually your friends. Family is title only sometimes, and sometimes blood family is not the ones who are the... It's just not. It's just not. Um... But you need to have confidence in yourself. 
being confident in your community and looking for recognition is not necessarily going to be the one the thing that gives you rewards. You need to do something that brings in the money immediately, and it does. Um, it could mean some people are moving. I see a lot of people taking up trades in the next coming years. Yeah, I see people picking up a trade as a side hustle. And I definitely perceive that there is some amount of travel, at least for some portion of the year for work. While it may not be permanently traveling for work, some people are going to be traveling for work. Um, regional deliveries, medical supplies, truck deliveries, I see a lot of that. I see a lot of that being in demand. I also perceive that law enforcement is going to continue to have a shortage. So if you are interested in law enforcement or any type of diplomacy, something to do with paperwork and upholding the law, that is something that is definitely, definitely coming into great need in the coming years. That could be officers, paralegals, secretaries in a, in a um, municipal office, things of that nature that are very, very important to society. But you are certainly finding your way into these niches. Again, those are just examples that I get intuitively. It may not be your thing, but it certainly is coming through very strongly. I would like to see... When does this happen? And is there a lover coming along for the ride? Complex decisions that needs to do research. Stop procrastinating. Okay, and that's your seven of water, sorry. Don't procrastinate. Six of earth, again, gifts, money, time, and effort. The new career opportunities receive a loan or pay off debts. This explains where a lot of the, the, the doubts are coming from. Don't worry about how, how quickly it's happening. So instead of getting an answer, I'm getting a, a, a bit of a roundabout, right? Don't overthink it. Please pay off the debts and money will flow surely then to you and very smoothly. So celebration, wedding, graduation, birth announcement, you need to have more fun. So at the conclusion of this new advancement in your business and in your money, there will be something to celebrate and it will coincide nicely with something that you already have going on separately from the business. So I perceive business, career, baby, or like business, career, then new house, business, career, a kid graduates from school. Maybe you're graduating from school. It may not happen in order um, that way, but I'm just giving an example of, it's telling you that there's a key celebration that is happening directly in the path of your financial success. Um, closer to the end, obviously, but as long as you have intentions and goals to uh, pay off your mortgage, pay off your debts, pay off your car, refinance the mortgage once you get it paid down a little bit, maybe refinance some things or just clear out some debts then refinance your home to get smaller payments you 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 are going to be smart about this you are people who are trying to buy a home i perceive that there is a way for you to purchase a home um but you may not need a down payment some people just will have enough money for the closing costs to purchase a property and the property will fall into place i always recommend like when you're manifesting homes and, and apartments and where to move things like that manifest the highest but expect 30 percent less because you might not be ready for 100 percent of what you're asking for the star and archangel jophiel happy times make positive optimistic long-term plans you are on the right path as i just said um, with the moving in the home that lines up perfectly, but this these are just examples of what I'm getting intuitively for the people who are watching When we have cards like this and they are speaking very clearly to the finances as I have prayed over them already These cards are asking you to definitely do your research to be confident first and foremost and then, of course, choose your battles wisely. You know, you want, to, you want to decide and pick who you're actually going to divulge these inner workings and plans to. You're not just going to announce it to everybody. You're not a groupie to your own self. You're not doing it for attention. You are doing it for yourself. And that is very important. When we have these intentions of, I need more money, we already have it set by the time you're getting to a video like this and to cards like this that you are ready for 
the manifestation to already have started. Knight of Air, Intelligence, Decisive, Idealistic, and Tireless. Events that occur with a great speed and take time to carefully review your options and create solutions. Okay, that, that wraps it up nicely. So when we are talking about the finances, again, we have a very clear set of expectations and goals here. Please be wary of this queen of air. She gossips. This is the person who's going to try to interfere and dismantle everything that you do. You know who they are. It may not be a woman. As I stated, it could just be very strong feminine energy. Um, again, my name is Shay with Solstice Psychic Readings. Please like and subscribe for more videos. If you are interested in the prayer oils, they are available on my website, solsticepsychicreadings.com. You can also book a reading there. All right. I will be sure to talk to you all next time. And I thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.